Welcome back. 2018 is the year of the debate over tolls. And with us today, two state representatives, Laura Devlin, she represents Fairfield and Trumbull, and Sean Scanlon represents Branford and Guilford. And thank you both for being here on the program. Good to be here. So we've been talking about tolls for years, but this week, Governor Malloy made it official. He wants to introduce them. I know your town is closer to the border, but they're not just border tolls. Explain to me what the program would be like. So the proposal that I'm familiar with that was shared last uh, session is not border tolls at all. There are 78 toll stations, toll stanchions across the state of Connecticut. And just between the New York border and New Haven, there are 22 between I-95 and the Merritt Parkway. So the projections are, right, that we're going to get out-of-state people to contribute to this. This is going to be great because they use our roads, and they will. But the 600 to 800 million dollar revenue projections from this project, 70 percent of that, a half a billion dollars, will come from overtaxed residents of the state of Connecticut. Which roads will they go on in your district? Uh, I-95 and the Merritt Parkway are two roads that uh, they will affect. And you're a little bit more inland, but I-95 passes through Guilford and Brantford. It How does. many will you get, do you know? I don't know. I mean, I think that what they put out last year was just, you know, a, a, not the definitive plan of what they were going to do. I think we're a long way from seeing the exact plan of where they would go and where they would be. Um, so I, I'm not really sure of how many there would be in my district. There's a belief out there that Democrats support tolls unequivocally. Do you? I do. And I have in the past. And I think that if it's done the right way, um, and that means that we are guaranteeing that that money is going to a lockbox that's not going to be rated for any reason. Uh, I think that most voters in my district that I've communicated with since I've been in office do support the concept of tolls because they know that we are in a dire situation right now when it comes to investing in our infrastructure and meeting our obligations as a government in terms of maintaining our roads and our bridges. Are you opposed to tolls altogether or would you like a different system of tolls? So, look. Tolls now are sort of the magic answer to fix our infrastructure because we haven't been investing, right? But the reason that the 25 cent gas tax went into place and the special transportation fund was to do just that, was to invest in our state's infrastructure. So without a solid plan, and now we're in this fiscal crisis in our state that continues and continues. And honestly, the CPAC agreement that was pushed through before the budget that really tied the hands of the legislature for 10 years with a with a contract that our state and our residents can't afford. I'm not willing to say that I will support tolls until we can address our fiscal situation and really look at the full picture. As you know, Connecticut's getting this reputation of being business unfriendly. GE is in your district. Do you think by having a story out there that says Connecticut is now going to introduce tolls and a higher gas tax that that might scare off potential investors and companies from moving here? You know, Dennis, every time I visit a business in my district, we're right on that 95 Greater New Haven corridor. I ask them what we can do to better help them with their business. And most of the time, they are not talking about taxes or regulation. They're talking about transportation. And I think that most of the businesses that I have visited with understand that in order to get a better economy, in order to grow our economy, we have to invest in infrastructure. And I think that tolls are part of the conversation about how we can do that. Have we heard about how much these tolls will charge? Initial projections that I saw between the New York border and New Haven would cost someone $6.80. So if I brought this home to my district, let's say you commute from Fairfield or Trumbull to Stamford, which is a horrific commute in the state of Connecticut. That might cost $3 each way. That's $6 a day or $30 a week. So if you've got kids in public school, right, or any school, that's like that's like for two kids, their lunch money for an entire week. It's a fancy coffee every day. It might be, depending on where you go, dinner out or lunch out. It's a lot. Let's talk about this gas tax. We already have one of the highest gas taxes in the nation as it is, and now there's a seven-cent increase being talked about, being proposed by the governor. And in your town, you have that big toll uh, rest area where yeah. people do get gas. Sure. But the reputation's out there, gas up in Rhode Island or New York before you get to Connecticut. Do you think that'll hurt us even more? You know, I think that the gas tax is part of the reason we're in this situation right now. Because of declining revenue into the STF from gas tax, we've seen $500 million just flat since 2008 in terms of the revenue coming in. Um, oil prices are down. Um, so one of the reasons why we're seeing this problem with the STF is because the gas tax is not getting us as much revenue as it always has been. So I'm not sure if gas tax increases are the answer. Um, certainly the governor did put that out yesterday. But I think we have to have a conversation about the entire picture and not just on the, the, the gas tax. How's the support for for you and against tolls in the legislature right now among Republicans. So look, I do you mean, have any Democrats on your side? 
Uh, well, I hear that there are not, that, that on both sides, there is not a lot of support necessarily for tolls. But we, we've got to, We've got to really take this seriously and be transparent with the people in the state of Connecticut. Increasing gas taxes, adding a new tire tax, accelerating the taxes for new cars, putting in tolls. We are already the highest tax state in the nation. Our Tax Freedom Day is the latest one of any other state. People are leaving in droves. We've got to get serious and address our fiscal crisis and quit running to Band-Aid solutions. If you've got a retired couple from Brantford, let's say they're going to sell their house and go to Florida and they say to you, more taxes, more tolls, I need to get out, what do you tell them? You know, I, I think that this is all about growing the economy. We have to grow the economy. I think Democrats and Republicans understand that there's not a way to cut or tax our way out of this problem. We have to grow the economy. And I think if you listen to what's coming out of the Commission on Fiscal Stability, if you talk to business yeah. owners like I have, they want to see that growth. And we all know that investing in a better transportation infrastructure is part of that. And if tolls uh, is a way to help us get there, then I think we have to take that seriously. This is going to take up much of our time in the upcoming session. We thank you both for being with us this Sunday morning and enjoy watching the Super Bowl later. Sean Scanlon, Laura Devlin, Thanks, thank Dennis. you so much. Thank you. When we come back, we will get some analysis on the race for governor and our flashback. Remember that time the Patriots said, hey, we're moving to Hartford, Connecticut. We will look back at what the Crafts told me and told you in the year 1998. And we welcome you to follow us on social media. If you have an opinion about today's program, please let me know either on Facebook, Twitter, even Instagram.